Hi, I'm Prabhaha Sektor, an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. I'm also a faculty member in the Center of Human and Machine Systems. My research deals with regenerative medicine, biomaterials, and 3D printing. Here at the Signal Lab, we develop regenerative implants using 3D printing, which helps to restore lost or defective bone or skeletal muscle tissue. The focus of my research is regenerative medicine. And when I say regenerative medicine is a type of medicine which we try to use to regenerate defective or injured tissue in the body. The implants uh, which we make in the lab, once they are translated after preclinical studies, they will one day basically be implanted in humans who let's say have a defective bone or a fractured bone or a lost section of the skeletal muscle. The implants that we make in the lab help restore that lost or defective or injured skeletal muscle and bone and helps the healing to be faster so that the patient can basically go back to their normal life with a good quality within a shorter period of time. But I'm very lucky because I have a wonderful team of students. They are very hardworking, they're very passionate about the thing they do. The most important thing to be a successful student researcher is having that drive, having that passion, and finding meaning in the work they do. And every day, what actually drives me is the passion of coming up with advanced healthcare technologies, which uh, basically tries to improve the quality of life of a patient who is undergoing tremendous pain for whatsoever, for a traumatic accident or for any disease-related uh, injuries, right? So recently, we have received two grants from the NIH, the first one being a R01 and the second one being a R03. The R01 is a five-year uh, translational project where we are developing the next generation of dental implants. What we are trying to do with this R01 is to come up with antibacterial dental implants, which will inhibit infections inside the oral cavity once it's implanted. The second grant is a RO3, that's a two-year pilot project. And what we are doing with this RO3 is develop extracellular vesicles which will help restore lost skeletal muscle. We are planning to use these extracellular vesicles so that it can help regenerate lost skeletal muscle and improve the quality of life.